Great question from one of my subscribers who does not want his name to be mentioned. And his question is, hello, I know that I'm saved. I have a confidence in that. But what's been troubling me is why I keep falling into sin, into this particular sin. I have trouble sleeping at night because of my sin. I do repent and then fight the sin. I really do put in the work so that that sin doesn't cause me to stumble again. But then after three or four days, I'll fall again. I hate myself when this happens and I even cry. I ask God to forgive me, to give me the strength to push forward, and I feel like I've failed him each time I fall again. I'm angry at myself, but I keep trying because I love God. Why is my life full of failures in the faith? Shouldn't I have more victory? Thanks for answering my question, Keith. Now, that's a great question, and one I'm sure many others have as well, so thank you for asking that question. Now listen, we need to. one thing we need to understand is, as Christians, and I had to recognize and realize this many years ago myself, but when I did, it gave me a great confidence that although I was struggling, I was on the right path. So here it is. Fighting sin is not a trait of natural people. Let me say that again. Fighting sin is not a trait of natural lost people. Romans 7, 5. For while we were living in the flesh, our sinful passions aroused by the law were at work in our members to bear fruit for death. Now that pretty much sums up the life of the lost. Lost people do not fight or seek to kill their sin. They're slaves to it. Lost people are not convicted over their sins. They indulge in them. Sin is not a burden to lost people. It's a joy to them. Now, many of you who are true Christians, you remember your life before Christ. And you know this to be true. The fact that your sin affects you negatively and that you are struggling with sin proves you are no longer on the broad way that leads to destruction. Now, I can't say or proclaim that to be 100%, but it's a good indicator that something has happened to you. You now recognize your sin and your need to kill it. Now, let me make this one thing clear. There needs to be sin in your life that are no more. There needs to be sins that are just no more a part of your life that you don't do anymore. If you are a true Christian, there needs to be the sins of the past that you don't do anymore as a style of life. For the true believer, there will be sins that we have been that, have, that literally have been laid at the cross and are no longer a burden in our lives. And then there will be the sins that we battle all our lives. OK, make sure that the sins you are battling are not the ones that should have been laid at the cross a long time ago, because if not, they may kill you. They may send you to hell. So it's important to understand the difference between the two. But the point I want you to understand here and to and, and I want the one thing I want you to meditate on and to always come back to is that what you're doing, the way you react to sin is not normal. OK, lost people don't have that issue. They don't have that problem. And because you do, it proves that your heart has been changed, that you seek to be righteous, you seek to please the Lord and that you are on the right path. So keep on that path.